Hello everybody, Burnt Oak Guy here, and welcome back to Cloud Punk. Alright, so in the last episode, we did all kinds of stuff. Uh, I think we upgraded our, our car and stuff like that. Oh, excuse me. Um, so now, we are off to go check out our apartment. Um, apparently we have an apartment. We don't just live in our car, so that's kind of a good thing. There's somebody to talk to. Evelyn. Let's talk to Evelyn. Do I know you? Do I know you? Mm. What? If I knew you, I might not know. Awesome. Let me try this again. Why are you hanging around outside my apartment? Are you with the Debt Corp? Or Corpsec? Are you spying on me? I am your neighbor. Nice. Shouldn't you be in your apartment then? I am waiting to talk with you. What do you want? I want to know if I know you. If we used to know each other. If we were friends. Oh boy. No, I just moved in. I've never met you before. Are you okay? No. No shit. You're an android, right? So did you have a firmware upgrade that went wrong or something? I hear those can cause androids to lose their memories, I think. No. Do you remember my friend, Dr. Zizic? We live next door. No, I told you I just moved in. She is missing. I am alone. Oh no. Look, I'm really busy. I just moved here and I barely have any money. I don't want money. Why would you say that? <laughs> I didn't ask you for money. I'm sorry. I just don't know if I'm the best person to help you. I don't know anyone else. There's some homeless shelters for androids downtown. I have a home. <laughs> what do you think I can do for you? There is a card. It was posted into your mail. I think it is for me. That's it? Just a card? Yes, I need it. It is how I will start to come back to me. Okay, that's cool, man. We'll, we'll check that out for you, Miss Evelyn. Gaz, good time. Oh, he's a vendor. Okay. So let's go check this out. We uh, enter our apartment. Oh, yeah. Let's go check our apartment. Let's go check out our flat. Alright, so I guess this is the card that uh, she was referring to. Punch card. Camus, can you read me? I'm in the apartment. You're authorized to access the systems in here. Uh -huh. I am here. Not that bad. It is amazing. There's a table and a balcony, and the roof perfectly fits on top of the walls. Nice. Yeah, it's all right, I guess. A bit sparse. I'd love to be able to decorate, you know, make it less clinical. Do you remember the birds we had back home? Yes. They landed on the window ledge. I birds. could never catch them. Yeah. Not much chance of wildlife here. So those are uh, I detect almost 50 within the property. Those dirty Ugh, do clothes me a on favor, the bed? Never mention rats again. Okay. Mm. There are also a number of rare breeds of sump spider. Ugh, also not good. Come on, Plants. we should get back to work. If I get a bonus tonight, maybe I can buy a picture. Or a mirror, or something. Nice. Alright, so let's just check out these upgrades real quick to see what's uh, a random pizza. Uh, Alright, Control. Driver 14 FC, this is Control. Come in. We need you to deliver nice. a package to the Sin Wave nightclub. You're going to have to deliver in person to the rooftop. That's where you can access the VIP area. So I just go to the door and... <laughs> Not gonna lie to you, kid. This one is gonna be tricky, but I think you can do it. The club's picky about who gets in. Have you heard of Lomo? No. He's the owner of the club. And most of this sector, too. He's got a piece of every business in the Undertown. And he didn't get them by asking nicely. Be careful about him. I will. Are they expecting me? Sure. I'm just letting you know you might come up against some resistance. These are powerful people, so watch what you say. Powerful people? Let's just <clears throat> say they're very private clients who have reason to suspect any strangers might be undercover corpsec. Awesome. You'll have to convince them otherwise. Understood. And 14 FC? Yeah. This has been a tough night for the company. We're understaffed and overworked, and we keep losing contact with drivers. There's something in the air tonight. Be careful. And if you do a good job on this delivery, all past infractions are forgiven. Understood? Understood. Hmm. <laughs> okay. 
Well, let's leave our beautiful little apartment. It wasn't that bad. Like, I figured, like, we'd live in a real bad dump or something, but it looks not that bad. It doesn't look that bad at all. Kind of like it. Kind of like it. All right, so let's see Evelyn here. Maybe we found this card. I found the card. You can have it. Thank you. So, what is it? A punch card. Mm-hmm. See that. Which is... A relic. Dr. Zizit's liked old things. Antiques. Our home is filled with grandfather clocks, teapots, DVD players. But this card... I know this is just the first of many. Where are the rest? You don't want me to check with all our neighbors, do you? The rest were with Dr. Zizic. They are scattered. Uh -huh. So, where is Dr. Zizic? She is also scattered. You mean... Last month, the 1875 B shuttle for Phobos took off from Terminal B. The were still closed. One of a series of systemic failures that took place across a range of Navalis's safety protocol algorithms, the explosion caught over 100 vehicles in the blast radius, including Dr. Zizic's Hova. So she's... I'm sorry. You did not know her, but thank you. She was your flatmate? We were best friends. We came to Navalis together. We met at the periphery. She was the last doctor to leave. I was the last surgeon. So you are Dr. Evelyn? Although I was conferred the title, none of the humans used it. But if you were operating and saving lives, you were a doctor. If no one calls you a doctor or treats you like one, you are not a doctor. Oh, Still, crazy. you were saving lives and... Please do not tell me how to label myself. Sorry, <laughs> so the periphery? I hear it was pretty dangerous up there. <laughs> Holy was, shit. But Navalis is dangerous mm. too. Is it better here, in the city? I saw terrible things at the periphery, but there was hope. Friends, I have not found those things here yet. Will you set up practice here in Navalis? I don't know. Dr. Zizic had a plan for us, but it is no longer in my memories. I guess I can look for these pages. <clears throat> I travel around the city, so... It would help me a great deal. Please bring me any you find. I will. And if you need anything else, well, we're neighbors, right? 17 out of 20. There are only yes. missing three more neighbors. people. Check that out. That's awesome. All right, so if we only find three more cards for this poor lady, man, and we'll, she'll have all of her memory back. So that's great. That's sweet. All right, so I'll do a little bit of uh, running around here looking for items, and uh, we'll move on with uh, what we got to do. Oh, yeah. Can't get through there yet. Ma'am, have you found anything of interest? Can't say that I have. Well, if you find anything suspicious, bring it to me. Oh, okay, so you can't get that. Uh... Oh. So you can get the corpse that flyer to get through those things? What? Okay. That's interesting. I think there are clear differences in intelligence between the spire dwellers and those from the slums. Debate me. Me? No. no. <laughs> oh, why? Are you afraid? I'm Glimbo, and I'm the most skilled debater in the whole of Novalis. Nice. I am a verbal martial artist and cannot be defeated. Fine, you win. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not good enough. I will find a subject you cannot resist debating with me. Hmm. Men are clearly superior to women in strength as well as skill. All right. Nothing? Okay. Uh, the Eastern Peninsula is home to savages who eat their own children. I know mm -hmm. I did. Delicious. Mm, androids don't deserve their rights. They have no soul. Do you? Of course I do. We all do. All but those who are not born of other humans. That is why androids deserve no right. Ah, you see how I hook you on my snare? Now nah, we're debating. Put forth your points and I shall defeat them. I have a job, and if I don't do it, they fire me, so I really don't have time to debate you. <laughs> then I win! <laughs> you concede! Androids are not real people. Women are inferior to men. Savages from the East eat babies. Rich people from the Spire deserve their wealth. Nice. Win. Wow, good for you. Awesome. Well, I'm glad that was an achievement and I never have to talk to that guy again. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. That's cool. Back 
to Evelyn. Evelyn, I got your cards. I have more of the punch cards for you. They're really spread around the city. I think these ones are pretty intact. Dr. Zizich was careful. She punched them out of nanofibers. They'd survive a bomb blast. Nice. Thank you. This is enough to partially recompile my memories. I don't understand, Evelyn. These cards hold your memories? How? Dr. Zizich knew that almost any storage medium could be recovered with the standard corpse set comprehender. They can decode and read almost any storage medium, from a transistor drive to a DNA crystal encoding. But not punch cards? Yes, not punch cards. They are too old. However, their information storage capacity is tiny. They can't store whole memories then? No, but they can hold a crypto key that can decode the memories I already have, though it will take some time to unlock them. Why do you think Dr. Zizich locked your memories away? And why are you worried about CorpSec being able to read them? Perhaps next time we speak, I will be able to answer those questions. Interesting. I need more time and more punch cards. Please bring me any you find. Oh, so there's more. Oh, so we got to get our 20 more. Oh boy, so there's all kinds of them out there. Nice. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we have more quests, more things to do for her. All right, she could be some top secret kind of government spy thing that, you know, she can dissect people with their eyeballs, you know, kind of thing, Android. Who knows? But we will find out. Hey. Pick up the package. Da, da, da. Nice that we don't have much of an office, right? Alright. That's cool. We That's have cool. his package, but will Lomo think we are undercover corpse sec? We don't look like undercover corpse sec. What would undercover corpse sec look like, Camus? I guess maybe like us. We have to act natural, not suspicious. Exactly. It is hard to act not suspicious when you are worried about being killed. <laughs> you know what else doesn't help? Talking too much? Mm. You're learning fast, Camus. Good stuff. Another word shut though. <laughs> right up. Oh, we got a bouncer. Who are you? I'm here to deliver a package. Sure you are. Fuck off. <laughs> Look, I need to get past. They're expecting me in the VIP area upstairs. Make it worth my while. How? I don't have much money. I don't want money. Get me some juice. Juice? Tram and all bottles. Corpsec aren't allowed to hold them. So if you bring me some, I know you ain't a cop and I can sell them. Oh, great. So, uh, I guess we gotta go see a drug dealer. You from the east, lady? You're good, but no corpse sec. Got it? Uh, just one of these. Perfect. Thanks. Oh, wrong button. You folks from the east are good with me, but no sec. But no sec, huh? No sec. All right. Uh, get you guy this. I brought your juice. All right, go ahead. Nice, nice. Enter the club. All right, let's do this. No? I don't even music. What right, club is this? No one plays music. That's it's horrible. It's a quiet club. Where's the music, buddy? You the DJ? You suck. I'm the delivery driver. I have your package. You are not a con mine. He used to run my packages. He retired. Mm -hmm. Retired, eh? You know who I am, driver. Lomo? That's right. You bring me packages. No questions. No mistakes. We'll be friends. If Sounds you let good. me down, probably not. I understand. What's your name? Rania. Well, Rania, I have some advice for you. You want to hear it? Sure. Sure. You got a don't fuck with me look on your face. But those are some clean hands. In the city, you've got to adapt quick. All the shit in the world ends up in the sea. But we still swim in it. If you dilute anything enough, it becomes tolerable. You hear what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Not really. 
I do. The city moves real fast, and you got to move with it. You make a million choices a day to survive in Nevalis. And some of those choices are gonna hurt folks. You ain't got time to think about that. You just keep moving. Understand? I think so. All right. Get going then, Rania. Cora willing, you might just make it through the night. Nice, nice. So I see that you have something back here that I'm gonna go pick up. Uh, thank you very much. A memory chip. Awesome. You've knocked the shit out of somebody that they lost their memory. It's great. Alright, so let's leave here. And uh, that's kind of cool. I like that. That's neat. That's neat. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, how do you leave here? Through here? Camus, you there? Yes, I'm here. Camus, people keep mentioning Cora. What is it? Not sure. Just an expression? Yeah, I get that, but it must come from somewhere. Do a basic search through Open Web and PubWeb. Searching. 872 different definitions for Cora. Just oh give boy. me the gist. In the city of Nivalis, Cora can be used in common parlance to refer to the personification of luck or fate, can be uttered as a blessing or a curse, can refer to the hacker collective or cult of the same name can be an expletive or used as a noun to refer to the AI governing specific aspects of logistics, theology, sociology, or infrastructure of city operation. In historical context, can refer to the... Okay, that's plenty. <laughs> you know, you really need to learn a bit about the word relevance, Chemis. Should I look it up? Wait, we have an incoming call. Get you there. Ready for another job? Sure thing. Hey, Control. What is Cora? Cora, uh, a code word used by hackers, an, an anarchist group, an expression for when you're tired of shit. Why do you ask? It okay. doesn't matter. Just give me my next job. You're delivering to an unsanctioned street race, so watch out for Corpsec. Pick up a drive converter from Emmett's garage. Your delivery target is Never Slow Joe. Control out. All right. Thomas, are you there? Here. Chemis, I want you to do a deep search for Cora. Not mainstream corp networks. Hit the deep net and the undernet. Is it important? I don't know. I see it everywhere. And there was something about Control's reaction. It means something to him. Won't we get in trouble? Oh, my head. I don't feel good. You don't have a head, Chemis. You're running on a low clock speed processor, so that's why you're struggling. Take yourself offline while you do the search. I'll be okay without you for a while. You need to swim. You remember how to do that? You need to copy yourself into the other networks and travel upstream. I remember. You're looking for Cora, remember? I want old data. Where did the name come from? That's your focus. I will try. Going now. Camus oh. Automata, now offline. Oh, God. All right, let's go talk to this thing right here. Uh, you met him yet? Who do you mean? Rubric. We're not best friends. Why? He took my place. I was Lomo's number one hacker. What happened? There were lines I wouldn't cross. So you're an ethical hacker. You say that like it's an oxymoron. <laughs> I, I guess it's not. I've known hackers who are good people, I guess. You want some free advice? Stay away from Rubric. Lomo will use you to get what he wants, but Rubric will be the one that cuts your future short. That's what happened to you? Not yet. He'll get me one day. I hope not. Oh, I don't doubt it. Oh boy, a little bit of a backstory going on there, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, so that's all the time that we got for Cloudpunk this week. I hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.